how's it going children children of the corn children of the cob it's your boy host beefy and next to me oh host is not there but the person that is here is the intern who made her debut uh last week well her debut as an intern as, and as a moderator yeah uh, we have you have me world it's alice hello alice in the house hello and though the rumor out on the streets is that you know, Tupac talk, talks a lot about uh, girls having babies, right? Oh, a lot. And, oh, Brenda's got a baby, you know? But this time, Cynthia had her baby. Cynthia did have her baby. Congratulations. So, c- congratulations, guys. The the baby of the podcast. So we're probably going to have him here eventually. Uh, Javi did save the umbilical cord, and he's going to eat it live on the podcast. So we're pretty excited for him to do that. Cause I, I just honestly, I just want to smell the umbilical cord. What about you? Why would you want to smell that? You don't think it smells cool, the umbilical cord? No, I don't think so. What do you think it smells like? Like a belly button. Yeah, but like uh, a belly button's kind of like already like a slut. You know what I mean? It's already <laughs> what? Yeah, it's like a. Think of how dirty it is. You know, it's been used. It's how been... okay? How has your b- belly button been used? Uh, like, how do you use your belly button? Is what I want to know. Well. So let's see. Sometimes, uh, I'm eating a couple baby carrots, right? In your belly button? Uh, well, got a couple baby carrots, and I don't want to get the dishes dirty, so I just get a little bit of dip. <laughs> you know, I lay it right there. Oh, you want a little bit of uh, what is it? A uh, French onion dip? Oh gosh! Throw Some it in there. You blue know, blue ranch in there. Blue, blue cheese. Blue cheese? <laughs> Shout out to Alice. She actually recently tried blue cheese. I you know? did, and it was actually really good. Actually. Really good, but. Yeah. That's the thing is you can't leave uh blue cheese in your belly button for too long. You know, you leave it in there and all of a sudden you got a damn, what is it? Like probably COVID egg coming out of there. You know what I mean? Oh, you got fuck, a, no. a oh, mushroom farm. We have a caller. Oh, we have a caller? We have a caller. Wow. Hello. We'll Hello, has some world. Well, Hobby is calling into the podcast. He is calling in. Are you going to flash him on your camera? Yeah, well, not, everybody... not that kind of flashing. Hey, say Hello. I don't know if y'all can hear him. Not sure if you can hear him. But there is Javi. He is calling in. Yeah, the baby was born. So, uh, I won't be there for a minute. Uh, I will show him, but there's there's people here, so. And then uh, we are having a maternity check. Make sure Cynthia is the mom. But <laughs> Oh, well, that's a good idea, dude. People are stealing babies nowadays, you know? You know, I just needed to be safe, so we're Every, gonna do Everybody that. wants a Mexican worker nowadays, you know? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, that's this just me calling in, you know? All right, and then you want, what was your baby's name? You don't want to say how much he weighs? Does he have um, any, 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 uh, you know, does he have any, any, uh, birthmarks, anything like that? No birthmarks. Um, the name... They'll have to stay tuned and keep watching the the new episodes later on. Later on, all will be revealed. He Every... might even show up on the podcast live. Well, so, so he remains nameless. The baby, shout out to Hobby's baby. Yeah, baby Hove. That's his nickname right now. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, I, you know, we're paying for him to be on paternity leave. So I'm I'm getting kind of mad right now. Uh, just looking at his face, you know. <laughs> so. I, th- I think we're going to let you guys get back to doing what you want to do. But I uh, love you guys, and congratulations on your baby. Thank you, thank you. And do you have any other words, uh, Alice? Any words of encouragement or any words of... Uh, what other kind of words could you... Have? Any <laughs> words of uh, toddlerism? Um, I just recently learned that babies' taste buds change every three days. So if your baby doesn't like food, that's why. Well, right now he's only drinking milk, so I, that's a little weird, but <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, tell uh, Santa not to give me any of that jalapeno jack, okay? Tell her to take it easy right now. <laughs> More company. With okay. the spices, dude. Love you guys. All right, love you guys. Yeah, love Catch you later. later. All right, well, hopefully you guys were able to see Javi. Yeah, uh, that was great. But yeah, he called in. That was kind of nice. Uh, it's the first time he ever called in for work. Well, this is the second time. The first time he said he was going to get a vasectomy. I don't think the first one counts. You know? But yeah, he called in. The baby... Well, what do you think he should name the baby, Alice? 
Mm, I feel like... Well, I don't know. Javi supposedly was cool from the womb to now. Womb to tomb. I don't know. Uh, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you could do that. Then he... I have to keep up my little bandana I'm wearing right now, you know? You guys could both share. Oh, you guys saw him. Maybe I can hide him right here. <laughs> I tuck him in over here in the back. True. But uh, we were talking about uh, belly buttons. Yeah. And uh, how you put blue cheese in them? Blue cheese in the belly button. So we were comparing umbilical cords to uh, regular belly buttons. So I'm not. Well, look, I I'm kind of hairy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's the thing. Sometimes, uh, I go to bed, you know, and I scratch my stomach a little bit, and I think that it's like the uh, like I'm scratching the the lint trap at the inside of the dryer. You oh, know? Okay. So all of a sudden, I get a bunch of lint. And sometimes, uh, what else could be in your belly button? Uh, maybe like if you cry a lot, you know, one day, if you cry, like if you're having a really sad day and you're like weeping, then you can taste your tears a little bit. You know what I mean? In your belly button? Well, if you cry to that much, you know that it rolls all the way down. <laughs> Have you ever cried to that much or no? I don't think so. Not to where it rolls into my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the furthest that it's, that it's rolled? Or do you like to keep it in a jar? No, it goes into my ear a lot. When you cry? Yeah. Oh, so you cry laying down? Yeah, like sideways. Oh, so you're a side... I don't know if I'm a sideways crier. That's a good question. So you're a side crier? Yeah, when I cry. It's sideways. So are you holding a pillow or what? Are, how are you crying sideways? I'm laying on my bed sideways. Not really holding a pillow, more like holding my legs. Oh, so you get into the fetal position. Yes, there we go. Oh, you know, and somebody told me... Oh, God, I can't remember who it was, but... They were saying people sleep in that position. Is that how you sleep too? Sometimes. Mostly I sleep on my stomach. So do you you sleep on your stomach? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. You're a freaking serial killer, dude. Really? You, you sleep on your stomach. Yeah, I sleep on oh, my stomach. My. Isn't it hard to breathe? No. Or do you just put your head to the side? I put my head to the side. So are you a good swimmer or not? Because uh, basically that's how swimmers swim. You know, they just go like this and breathe to the side. I feel like I could be a good swimmer. I mean, I'm not a dolphin or anything, but I think I could swim pretty good. What kind of uh, what kind of sea creature would you be <laughs> if you're not a dolphin? Oh, I would be a stingray. Oh, a stingray? Yeah, just go, you know, flapping my little whatever the... the... Yeah, killing sea vermin? Yeah. God. Oh, did you hear, speaking about killing, did you hear about uh, somewhere here in West Valley, there was like a traveling crocodile thing? No. So there was like a crocodile, uh, it's like on the road crocodile. I don't know. They have like crocodiles and people can see them on and the road. On, yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure where they put him, but it was like in West Valley and, uh, the crocodile bit the uh, lady's arm and started twisting it. Right. Oh my God. So yeah, he's like, cause you know how they twist to break you apart. Yeah. And, uh, a guy that was like one of the observers, he jumped in there and jumped on top of the crocodile. <gasps> the guy wasn't even a trainer. That's crazy. And he ended up saving the lady. Did she still have her arm? I think so. I don't know. I thought it broke because you know how they do that thing? They twist. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, God, you know, it's like just waiting for it to just like crumble. But then I don't know. The lady was like also super badass lady. I don't know who this lady is, but maybe I want to marry you because she was like really calm. You know, I was like, holy shit. Her arm is just like getting twisted. And she's like, like the kids are starting to freak out, you know, because uh -huh. like there's little kids watching. She's like. Yep, I'm okay. He's just biting me. And, you know, like, she's not even screaming, nothing. I it's was like, fine. I'm losing a limb. It's okay. Yeah, her arm was, like, Another sideways, day. you know? Like, not saying a thing. I was like, holy crap. Yeah, but then the guy let him loose. Huh. And uh, both of them lift. But, oh, I forgot. I don't think I said Hoss is not here. You know, so you guys have probably already heard. I feel a little bit lonely. And a uh, good thing Alice is here, you know? Because they'll... Yeah. Sometimes I don't want to get too lonely. You guys know I, I'm an emotional creature, and then all of a sudden, tears are in the belly button, you know? <laughs> but instead of uh, tears, maybe there's going to be some joy in the forecast. Maybe. Uh, and what's what are we celebrating today, Alice? Today is the 17th. We are celebrating National Nonprofit Day. National Nonprofit Day. So, in other words, guys who can't celebrate today, Joseph Smith, okay? <gasps> What other prophets are uh, famous, Alice? He couldn't celebrate today? Well, he it's non-profit, so no prophets today. So he was a prophet, right? Oh. They say, oh, he was a prophet of uh, Christ, you know? That makes so sense. So Joseph Smith, he can't celebrate. And then uh, 
what else um i think that's like the only prophet that i know yeah maybe jesus you know they said oh jesus he was a prophet but then he turned into the son of god well that's why javi's not here he can't yep. celebrate he can't celebrate but dude non-profits don't you hate non-profits or do you like non-profits i feel like sometimes they're good they help out sometimes you know because i like i sometimes hate the non-profits that are like uh it's like something you've never even heard of you know what i mean yeah and they just like it's like a non-profit for you know uh, endoplasmic reticulum research what like, is that exactly you know what i mean but they're out there it's like dude people suffer for, from uh endoplasmic reticulitis and you're like dude who's <laughs> dying you know and then they have like a picture of like a grandma you know what i mean right and you it's like okay i give him five dollars and then you go home and you're like dude what is this endoplasmic reticuli and it's just a cell you know what i mean <laughs> it, that's all it means it's just science so then you got tricked and then they just spend their money on whatever they want you know like you heard about like the hillary or you know what's that one the clinton foundation and is that really non-profit because i feel like she kept all the profit well that's what i'm saying so what they do is like it's non-profit but then they hire so they'll hire a person and then that person's like salary is like a million dollars you know what i mean yeah so all their donations they're just like they give to each other by just like their job title so this person will be like the ceo or this person will be the uh what's another word uh CEO, vice president the vice president what else they got over there the second counselor the treasurer the treasurer the assistant manager assistant, assistant to the security. regional manager you know so then they hire everybody like that and then they they get all the money and then then that's why there's all the dogs that are starving you know what i mean right or if you think about it like the commercial with the dogs have you seen that one they're yeah. all sad oh that one is sad okay how much money do you think they spent on that commercial like 50 bucks no like no ten thousand. it has to be more i would even say than ten thousand. if it's everywhere in the country you know because you'll be you'll you'll it, it'll be like during thanksgiving you know what i mean yeah that's actually when i see them the most yeah it'll be during thanksgiving everybody's just throwing away their food you know and then they everybody's just happy eating you know eating a bunch of food and they play that commercial you know you're like oh god it goes my appetite i'm not even hungry it anymore. ruins thanksgiving you know what i mean yeah but did you, were you ever a victim of a non do you think? Like when um, they were like, oh, we're going to go to Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Boys and Girls Club. What did you, uh, did you ever go to any after school programs? Or? I went to Boys and Girls Club, but I only went for one day. Oh, really? Just to see like what it was. And it was nothing. So what did you guys do? Oh, like all the little bad kids were playing soccer and jumping on the stairs hanging off the bleachers i was like isn't this supposed to help us so you you didn't want to do anything bad oh i was jumping on the bleachers i was the one jumping on the bleachers but then what you were just like oh it's not for me or... yeah i was like eh, i could do this at home but see i feel like i went to the after school program also for a year and i remember we went to watch harry potter or you could have a uh, sack lunches too you know Ooh. after lunch like you already had a lunch and now you're having sack lunches you know what i mean a snack before dessert or yeah dinner. well before you eat dinner yeah so that was always fun and then like the school the school bus would drive you to like after hour spots you know so i went to mountain view elementary shout out to the golden eagles whoop, whoop. and uh so dude they would pick us up on a bus and then they take us all the way to what time is it? it's maybe like around two o'clock and now they're taking us to the strip club you know what i mean <laughs> It's like, oh, today we're going to do an extracurricular activity. It's going to be on uh, genitalia. You know what I mean? Wow. So what is, you know, I didn't even know what that was. But yeah, then we would go there. So that's a nonprofit. I went to Boy Scouts a couple of times. Really? And uh, Boy Scouts was kind of cool, but. Is that why you're wearing that shirt today? Well, no. You know, with my shirt today, actually. Uh, if you want me to talk about my shirt, I'm wearing this shirt for american patriots it says i have well i am more proud of what does it say i am proud of many things in life but nothing beats being an american patriot dude. Hey, amen, okay brother. so before the fire started we went over to uh the colville fair okay okay so it was like, oh, it's gonna be a colville fair my brother was hyping up he's like oh you know there's a little couple of cowgirls you know what i mean 
There's going to be a couple cowgirls. Dude, there's going to be a couple cowboys, you know? A couple woodies out there on the oh. loose, you know? Is there Wait, a snake in their boot? Wait, I was trying to find <laughs> it, you know? I was trying to get that bus light here, but we got there. We're on our way, me and my sister. That fire starts, okay? So all of a sudden, we're there. Huge fire. So we're driving, you know, all the smoke. And then I end up behind one of those... Uh, those trucks, you know, the, the ones that say, like, extremely flammable? Yeah. That's got, like, two tanks of gas behind it. Yeah. And, like, we're in this mountain, and I'm right next to that truck, you know? I'm like, oh, great. You know, if anything happens, it gets too hot, I'm going to blow up. But, um... Final so, destination on you. Yeah, so we finally... Well, we drive... You know, there's, like, planes. You can see the planes, and you can see, like, the stuff burning, like, next to you. And it got so hot when you're driving through it. Oh, wow. Everything was, like, super hot. So then I was just like already kind of stressed out, you know, I was like, this is why I never go out. You know, I like to be a recluse. I go over to Park City, Colville, and then the mountain burns. You know what I mean? And uh, I get over to the uh, place, you know, to the fair. And my brother was hyping it up so much, you know, Gabe. And if you're watching, dude, <laughs> he hyped me up so much. I'll tell you that. He's like, yeah, there's going to be Woody. You know, there's going to be uh. Who else was going to be there, Alice? Who did he say was going to be there? Um, Bullseye. Bullseye. Oh, yeah. And Bullwinkle, huh? Yeah. Everybody. He said everybody was going to be there. He's like, oh, he, he's like, uh, Mr. Potato Head is going to make a comeback. You know what I mean? Because over in those neck of the woods, I'll tell you something. Mr. Potato Head's not canceled, okay? So I get there. This is the saddest looking fair I've ever gone to, okay? I get there. They had a, a thing for tickets. Like, you've been to, like, a West Fest or, like, the State Fair, right, Alice? Right. And you know how they have that little house that says tickets? Yeah. So they have one of those, right? Guess how many rides there was? Two. Well, there was technically three rides. Oh, okay. But uh, two of them were one ride that was next to a mirror, so it made it look like it had double the rides, Ooh. you know? They had a giant mirror. So, yeah, I think you were right. I think there was only two rides. Because the other ones were just, like, a giant mirror. So, like, oh, look at this. You know, they have a Ferris wheel on the other side, too. No, it's just a reflection. It's just one, guys. You know, just one. And then they had a Ferris wheel. They had the these, like, things that kind of you'll kind of spin, like, in that cage. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll roll. And they look super dangerous now because all those rides are from, like, the 1920s. You know what I mean? Did they even do safety checks on them? Dude, I don't even know because they're, like, all rusted. You know what I mean? You're like, what kind of... It looks like a rust bucket. Dude, it looks like my belly button. You know what I mean? After I got done eating. Oh, but fuck. It, you know, it's, like, it's so horrible. So they got a carousel. They got the Ferris wheel. And then they got that one that uh, spins. Oh, and they had the teacups. Ooh, so they had more than two. Well, maybe. So how many were those four? Yes. So they got four rides. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, so they got those four rides, right? And then you know how there's always games, right? Yeah. So you can win little prizes. They got the, oh, the little ducks. Oh, you're going to pick up the duck. There's a number. Remember those ones? Yes. You get the floaty. Oh, you get the lucky number 24. And, you know, you get, Seven. The, free, you get the Kobe Bryant Kobe Bryant jersey for free. You know? Nope. They don't have that one. So, oh, what other games do they have? They have... Two games, grand total of two games. They have, oh, actually, it was three games. They have the basketball, all right? Okay. Basketball, three hoops. Uh, and then they have the, uh, so basketball, they have balloons. And this is, I got there super early. It's only like three o'clock. So they have balloons, like the darts. They, they only have like 20 balloons. And you know what I mean? Like they're even out of balloons. So they got 20 balloons. And then they have the one that you throw the ball into the jugs. Remember that one? Yeah. So those are the only three rights. And like the most, like the biggest thing that you could win was literally, it was like this big. That was it. Ooh. Like that's it. What was and it? It was like a fish. A fish. Yep. It wasn't even like Finding Nemo. It was like a, it was like one of those beta fishes. You know what I mean? Oh gosh. They had that. They had a carp. And then they had what, what other one? They had a catfish, you know? It's like, dude, who wants to win? You know, every single game was $5. But I guess the good thing about it is I spent $20. I played all the games. You Did know? you win anything? Uh, I, w I won a little fish, but I gave it away. Oh, but uh, so nice. we keep walking around, right? Because it's like, well, I already finished your cool, uh, your cool, uh, whatever rides or whatever. So I finished that part of the fair like in two minutes. 
And then we there's a couple of stores. You know how they have stands? Yeah. Well, normally, if you go to a cool place, you know, what do they sell, Alice? What do you think they sell, like, at a, when you go to a normal one? Uh, shirts. Shirts. Bracelets. Blankets. Bracelet. Cricket. Hats. Cricket phones. Yeah, cricket phones. Obama phones. Uh, T-Mobile phones. T-Mobile. The Burner Go phones. Yes. And then what else do they have? They have cotton candy, probably. Uh, yeah, a big uh, uh, turkey leg. Oh, yeah, huh? The yes. Polynesians are selling horse. What else do they sell? Plants, you know what I mean? Yeah, plants. Then they're selling uh, the pigs. That's what I meant. They got the pig and the thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And they're turning the pig there and he's alive. Was he <laughs> squealing? <laughs> well, I'm just saying at the normal ones. You know? So there's like so many things to watch and you can just walk around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then they got other games. They got the one where they got the dunk thing where you can throw the ball. Oh, you know, the guy, he falls and so now he's taking a shower or whatever. So we go to check out the stands and they had a beef jerky was one, right? Like they were making it in front of you? No, it was already made in the oh. back. Beef jerky. They had ladies that were trying to, they were from, dude, well, here's the, in Colville, it's all basically the Caucasian community, but it's like cowboy Caucasians. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> That's a very nice way to say they have Sensi. They have like a Sensi stand. You know what I mean? Okay. So they have one of those, and they don't even have good smells. You know, it's like what smells is a carbon fiber. I was oh. like, what? <laughs> carbon fiber. So I got carbon fiber. Then you know, you look over there. It's like what is uh, uh another candle over here? They have a livestock. You know what I mean? It smells like animals. <laughs> you know, and they have a. They have another one that smells like bacon. Oh, they oh they got the bacon candles. Yep, made out of real grease. And then they got all oh, a little house on the prairie. You know, this one smells like, you know, like Joseph Smith a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you smell it. You got a little hint of Jesus in there, you know? But so they have that. And then they had like a lady that sold a couple bracelets. Oh. Not cool. But then I see a guy, you know? And now this is how bold this place was, okay? <laughs> There's a shop, dude, all over the shop. It was like America. You know what I mean? Uh, never forget, you know what I mean? Uh, four more years, you know what I okay. mean? Okay. Stand, uh, what is it? Stand pat or what is it? Stand by or whatever? Oh, yes. Stand by. Stand by or whatever. And 10 then, feet higher. <laughs> yeah, 10 feet higher. Build a wall, you know what I mean? No more MS-13. Uh, and then Confederate flags everywhere. Nice. Dude. So I was like, dude, what is this? You know what I mean? Where am I? So I walk up there and uh, I already, you know, I got my uh, G unit freaking headpiece right here, <laughs> but uh, I already feel way out of place. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a regular fair. I'm dressed just, you know, I, I dressed up like a little bit more street, you know, and uh, I wanted to feel a little dangerous, but I get there. Everybody's a cowboy. You know what I mean? You forgot your hat? Well, I thought it was just going to be a fair. People don't dress. I thought it was going to be a regular fair. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like a summer day. I'm not going to wear a hat and all those things, you know? So I thought it was a general. Nope. All the shirts, Blue Lives Matter. You know what I mean? Uh, and then I got to the, to the little stand and there's all these shirts right here. So I was like, oh, I better go undercover. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got to get something before, you know, before it's like six o'clock and everybody starts getting a little antsy. And, uh, Having you clean up the place and everything. Oh yeah, or you know what I mean? They they burned me. I don't know. They had a cross there. I don't know what they were oh, trying shit. to do. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? So I asked the guy. So by the way, nobody, even though this guy's super Confederate, nobody was bold enough to go visit him. You know? So That's... there was like there was like barely any people going to check out the shops because there was only like four. So I go over to the guy and I was like, well, I was like, hey man, it's like I like your shirts, you know. And uh, all of them, by the way, racist shirts, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I see this shirt. Because as you've heard on the podcast, you know, we have G.I. Ellis. Yeah. We got Host Beefy. We got Hoss. All of us are proud patriots. Okay. Very proud. So this one said American Patriot. Okay. And uh, I asked the guy, I was like, hey, you know what? It's like, uh, I really like this shirt. And, uh, you know, the guy had already been there out in the 100 degree sun all day. And I was like, you know what? I really like this shirt. Uh, how much is it? He's like $25. And then I'm like, 
well, what do you think? It's like, I really like it, but is it okay for me to wear I'm Mexican and I'm illegal? Oh, fuck. But I'm a patriot. You know? Oh, gosh. <laughs> and, and this was him, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was with those, like, I'm Mexican, I'm illegal, but I, I love the U.S. I'm a patriot. You know what I mean? I was like, do you think I could buy it from you? And he looks at his shirt, you know? Like, oh, he's my like, gosh. And he's looking at me, you know? <laughs> And then he looks at his box. He hasn't sold one shirt. You know what I mean? So his face, he was like contemplating his existence. If he should let me buy, if he should sell his shirt to, oh an, to an illegal. You know what I mean? So it, it was like 15 seconds of just like awkward, just back and forth. You know what I mean? He's looking at staring at the eagle, you know, it has the eagle right here. Dude, the eagle was pissed off. Dude, I can hear him just chirping, dude. And then he's like, well, I guess that's fine, you know? <laughs> and he hands me the shirt. He didn't even make eye contact with me. He just went like this. Wow. And he packed it for me, and he's like, you can check out our other stuff there. And I said, all righty, partner. Enjoy the rest of your day, son. <laughs> and then I had my shirt. I had my protection. And, yeah, that was uh, how I ended up with the shirt. <laughs> well, now you can't get deported. Now I can't get the party, you know? Yeah. Because, dude, I'll tell you, there was, like, a couple of their Mexicans there. I think they were Mexican, but I couldn't tell. But, dude, they had the Blue Lives Matter hats on. I was like, dude, am I in the Get Out movie? You know what I mean? Oh, gosh. I was like, what is going on, you know? You're lucky they didn't take you in the back. Well, I was getting scared, so I actually left early because I couldn't take it anymore. You know, it's like, too many people were staring at me. But one thing I'll tell you, they dropped the national anthem, you know? Okay. So uh, we were trying to get some scones. They really wanted to make sure if you were proud. So, well, they were trying to get some scones. I was in there. I was on. I was in line because they they have po' boy sandwiches like normal American soup, but there they had proud boy sandwiches. So I was want to see. Oh, what's in the uh, what's in the proud boy sandwich again, Ellis? There's a uh, there's a ham ham sausage sausage. Uh, so a little bit of turkey. A little bit of turkey. Bacon. Yes. Extra mayo. A little bit of mustard. A little bit of mustard and a, a lot of freedom in there, you know? And you get freedom fries. And then right before we order the uh, national anthem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, okay, I'm not trying to say... Dude, everybody <laughs> stopped what they were doing. Like the, the Proud Boy sandwiches were getting burnt. You know what I mean? Like, all the orders that were getting burned, they didn't even care about them. Everybody just, like, stopped, and then they looked at the flag. And then they did the national anthem, you know what I mean? Okay. And, I mean, I'm not... I told you guys I'm a patriot, but, dude, sometimes when you see everybody doing something, like, I guess that unified, it's kind of, like, kind of satisfying to watch, you know what I mean? Right. Because everybody was about it. I'm like, oh, damn, you know what I mean? Like, everybody... Like, if you were a Everybody took their hat on, hat off, you know what I mean? Everybody's watching the flag and people are crying. You know what I mean? And then, oh, dude, what's flying by? A couple of jets, dude. <laughs> Supersonic, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then one nation, individual, whatever, liberty and justice for all. <laughs> that and is not it, but okay. Individual. That's I'm pretty sure that's the end because it's an individual nation. Then, boom, it flies by. Dude, I thought it was a jet. Guess what it was? A fly. Six bald eagles. Oh. Okay? Just... That's real American. Just flying six bald eagles, you know what I mean? Just red, white, and blue everywhere. And I was just like, holy crap. You know what I mean? You felt real part of that day, huh? Oh, I felt fucking <laughs> proud. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, dude, I was... I felt so American. Okay? Dude, I almost started crying, dude. Ooh, into your belly button? Huh? Into my belly <laughs> Almost. That, <laughs> I was like aiming, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, please, please. You know, but I almost started crying because I kind of got emotional with the flag, you know? I was like, oh, dang, dude. Like, uh, but that does trip me out because it's kind of crazy how they could be like so, I guess, unified right there, but then they can also be, some of them can be so like hateful, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that trip me out. I was like, dude, why if you just love America? Why don't you just love that anybody can do whatever they want? You know what I mean? So you just like you get whatever freedom you want. Like everybody else has all the freedoms to do whatever they want, which includes pissing you off. You know what I mean? Because that's part of the freedom. It is part of the freedom. You know what I mean? 
Because they're like, oh, you know what, well, proud boy, you know, proud, proud, proud. And then it's Pride Month and they get mad. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude. So make up your mind already, okay? You're going to be called Proud Boys, but then you're scared of Pride Month. You know what I mean? So, That's not yeah. American. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, what kind of patriot are you? That's like the month that you should turn up the most is during Pride Month instead of you're hiding and going to church every single day of the week. Okay? Just be like Target. What's that? Just be like Target. Yeah, just go to Target. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, Target, I've t I feel really, you know, sometimes when I go to, if I go to Target by myself. Are you scared? Oh, I get, I, I question myself a little bit after, you know what I mean? I was like, am I going to cry into my belly button or, you know, aim at my back? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, cry a little waterfall, you know what I mean? So I don't know what's going to happen, but the the, the next thing I know that's going to happen is there's going to be another holiday tomorrow. There probably. might. Because we, what holiday did we just talk about? Uh, non-profit day. <laughs> non-profit day, so yeah. Uh, the next one is National Massachusetts Day. And then that one, we're, Massachusetts. I don't even know who's from there. Boston, Massachusetts. John Cena, he's from there. Oh, okay. Can't see him. That's you why. You can't see him. So we can't see this holiday. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, so what's another holiday? Massachusetts. Uh, National I Love Feet Day. Oh. So Ooh. do you love feet or how I do you feel about feet? I actually do love feet. Yeah? Is that like your kink or not? Uh, some people would say yes. I, I guess it would just depend on who you're talking to. So what? So what do you say? Oh, you're talking to someone. What do you say? Oh, I'll be like, let me check out your toes, girl. You say that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm the girl right now. Okay. And then where? What? Where are we at? Where? Like, uh, where do you take me? I'll take you to a cafe. What cafe is this? Um, I don't know. I don't go to cafes usually. Cafe. Uh. Uh. What? What are we? Cafe. Uh. Sylvester. Okay. Cafe Sylvester. And we're sitting there. I see that you're wearing mm -hmm. sandals or something. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god! I just got these at Target, by the way. Oh, okay, girl. Those uh, are nice. Those ooh, are I got nice my petty, and oh. I'm ready. Okay. For the spaghetti. And so then I'll look down at your toes real quick, and I'll be like, "Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Well, looky, what are you looking at, girl? Let me see them toes real quick. Oh, let me stop. check them out. Ooh, that color looks stop. so good on you. You're making me blush. Hey, stop. God, I'm getting tickly. Oh, no, yeah. Let me tickle them toes. You like girl. them? Yeah. They look so great. Look. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that. Uh, what is that? That's. Tan? What's that? Is that tan? Uh, well, my tan line? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went to the pool, you know, and oh, my God. So, uh, I don't know. GC, what? You, you want to give me a foot massage? Yeah. Let me suck on them toes, really. Oh, we're at the restaurant, babe. God. It's okay. It's okay. No one's even looking. God. Let me just put that big toe in my mouth. Oh, no. Stop. <laughs> okay. Are you going to pretend you'd like drop your water really quick or what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then, so then what? Then the girl just sticks her foot under the under the thing or what well she'll usually put it on my lap and then i'll just play with it she'll be getting into the mood and then i'll slightly suck on it just to, like tease. but then what if they like bring your food in the middle of it so so okay right now we're okay you're massaging my feet right okay massaging, oh god massaging. girl jeez yeah you stop. like that huh oh you like that <laughs> yeah Hey, so we got your uh, burgers right here, and oh, we got oh, the okay, okay. blue cheese sandwich. Yes. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, thanks. You can leave now. Thank you. God, you're so naughty. <laughs> God, I told you. I told you we were going to get caught. Now they didn't see God. anything. Now my foot's going to taste like Parmesan. My, <laughs> my food is going to be all Parmesan. That blue cheese, though. God. Blue cheese is the... So then what if you're like, okay, so you're playing with my foot, right? Right. And then... Like this, oh, I got a, a little bit of callus for Alice. You know what I mean? <laughs> Down there. <laughs> Is that, you know what I mean? You're about to suck on that toe. And all of a sudden, <laughs> half of your tongue's gone. <laughs> you scraped the whole freaking... You oh know what I mean? my gosh. Well, you I'll, got, I'll check out the toe first before I decide to put it in my mouth. You got. You already offered it. You're like, ooh, put it in my mouth. Girl. But now you got, you know, you got 10,000 10, new taste buds because you scratched the whole new palate in there. Oh. So, so what would happen then? Like, if you look at the toe and it's got some big old callus, you know? Ooh. It looks like a freaking, like a meteor hit it, you know? Oh. Like the surface of Mars. So what would you do? i probably skip that toe and go to the next toe. Oh, but you wouldn't like end the date? Uh, maybe. Yeah, like yeah. it would turn you off like quite a bit. You think? Yeah, I think so. Cause that's gross. 
Jeez. I don't want to put that thing in my mouth. Well, that nasty bug. But what if you? And... She. It's. What if she's like everything else about her is like perfect except for that. Uh, her callus. Mm, maybe I'll put a bag over that callus and just. You think so? Move on. Yeah. But it would throw throw you off like her feet. So that's like a maybe must I'll for avoid you. that foot and just go on the next one. Oh. Uh, yes, that's what I'll do. So it it is something that you like do check into when you're like looking at someone like to find attractive <laughs> or. Um, I usually do it if I'm really serious with that specific person. If not, I don't put random people's foot in my mouth. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, obviously, but I'm saying like, like before it gets to your boo thing, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Like, how do you like, uh, how do you get her to show you your feet? Um, if it's like in the summer, obviously some girls wear sandals. So I'll just look on the day that she's wearing sandals. So you're just like looking down? Yeah. Like, oh, why didn't you look me in the eyes? <laughs> you know? Oh, I thought I saw a bug or something. Yeah, then you just, like, keep looking down? Yeah. Then I'll examine it, just making up excuses why I'm looking down. And then if they look okay, then we'll go from there. And then what do you like? Do you like the, do you like the French tips? Do you like the specific color? Like, if they're all painted? Or do you like natural um, nails? Or what's what gets you going? I like the where they're painted, or they can also look natural or if they have the light gloss on them we're like shining i like the light gloss with the french tip it just has like a little bit of white okay oh damn that's hot you know Ooh, what i mean with the toe ring oh with the goodness. toe ring yes see just like jeez it looks like a little bit like that like shiny too you know yes. what i mean yes but that's my 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 uh i don't know i don't know if i love feet you know I think I love feet, but I, I'm not sure. I told you guys on here, you know, I have a little bit of a bunion. Right. You know what I mean? And it's not that bad, you know, but it's just like, I don't know. My foot's also kind of like a flat foot. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's like my art. I'll tell you what, dude, if, if I was Sion National Park, you're not, you're not going to get to the arches, dude, because there's <laughs> nothing. This is like the Great Plains over here, you know? Oh, gosh. There's like, it's just flat, you know? Like, I can put a level on my foot, and it says it's leveled. Oh. You know? That's that flat, huh? It's that flat. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, uh, I mean, I'm like uh, walking on a piece of gum, basically, you know? <laughs> so, that's what I'm walking on, trident layers. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, I have a little bit of a bunny, and, and then, I don't know. I think I think girls have said, oh, your foot's okay. You know what I mean? Just okay. Well, I don't say, oh, I don't. I haven't asked them, hey, do you think my foot's sexy? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't think I'll ask that. You know what I mean? It's like, oh. Uh, you know, I say, oh, I got a little bunny. You know what I mean? I Do you draw a... bunny ears on it? What's that? Do you draw bunny ears on it? For the bunion? You yeah. know what I mean? I try to make it cute. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get one of those. Yeah, you said a little bunny ears. So boom, put it right there. Oh, you want to kiss the bunny? You know what I mean? And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, the I think the main thing. So maybe you tell me if it's gross, okay? Because okay. the bold thing that I started doing recently is uh, I started wearing those like uh, sandals. <laughs> The ones that you don't have to wear shoes, then you just have like your toe goes in between them. You know what I mean? And those for me normally were a hard pass. No, I just wear them. Do you know which ones I'm talking about? Yeah. And uh, they're kind of like, what are those, like beach sandals or something like that? Or... Yeah. So I would never wear them before, you know? Okay. But I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to wear them. You know what I mean? But like on my toes, like on this part right here, but on my toes, okay. I, I have like a little bit of hair. I think everyone does. Oh, so I, I'm on cool not uh, trimming it off? You're cool if you trim it off? No, no, I'm saying like, so I'm cool like leaving it off. Oh, yeah, yeah, I leave it. Yeah, because that's like the only thing, you know, it's like, dude, I'm a hairy mess. You know what I mean? I'm already pulling the lint trap out of my belly button. <laughs> and then now I'm there, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, say there's a tarantula on your foot, you know? They, you'll be saved. You'll be saved. Not a, It's not, not a tarantula. It's a, just a piece of hair. But, uh, I'm not sure. I think maybe... Maybe feet have been getting kind of sexy more recently, or do you think they've always been sexy? Um, I think they, I think recently they have gotten sexy. Like more sexy, yes, huh? Yes, very more. Because before it was just like, oh, hide the foot, you know what I mean? <gasps> like, we don't want to see your hoofs. I used to have sex with my socks on, because I was embarrassed of them. With your socks on? Yep. Dude, I used to do the same thing too <laughs> with my uh, shoes on and everything, you oh, know Oh, I mean? gosh. But then like, oh, what's going on with your toe? You know, you got to hide it. But then about my little uh, bunion corrector. And now I'm good, you know what I mean? I let the bunny and breathe. But what's uh, another holiday? Because I don't know we've been... Uh, the last holiday is National Thrift Shop Day. Ooh, National Thrift Shop. And, yes. Uh, do you ever go to the thrift shops or anything like that, Alice? Or... Um, I used to a lot. 
I haven't recently. Now you're just uh, stunt 101? Yeah, sometimes. I like to go to the thrift shops a little bit. Yeah, you find a lot of good things there. A lot of cool things, you know what I mean? But I did tell Hoss because I feel like we we almost had this exact same. It probably, you know what? We might start running into the same holidays because now the podcast is a year old. So we'll have to check. But uh, I was telling someone, it might have been Hoss, that remember when we were kids how lame thrift shops were? They were? I thought they were freaking cool. No, not when we were kids. Like, ooh, I saw you at the DI. You know what I mean? Or like, you went to the DI? They weren't cool. <laughs> All the kids showed up to school with their new... Sh Dude, some of them would be jerks and they'd still leave the tags on their shirts. Remember that? Yeah. You get there, they say, oh, I still got my tag. Oh, it looks cool. It looks fresh. You know what I mean? Little do we know, we thought they were cool. Their parents were just returning it. <laughs> you know, letting them wear it once, return it. And that's how they always had new outfits. You know, but so we were... So that's how they did it. Yeah, but we were out there with DI clothes. You know what I mean? And back then, it's like, dude, you get a shirt, dude, somebody died in that shirt. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, you're bringing the grudge over to your house. Oh, you know? oh so that's why I have ghosts in my house. See? That makes sense. You got to get rid of I got to get rid of the shirt. You got to get rid of the <laughs> shirt, dude. So that's what would happen. You know what I mean? You get, you know, somebody died in that shirt. Uh, and then sometimes you get like, oh, you thought it was a cool, you, oh, who's this guy? It had like a picture of an old guy. And then, you it's know, just Bernie Sanders sitting on the back. You thought it was Bernie Sanders, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, look at this Bernie Sanders, dude. You, and then it's Utah, you know, so we're a small state. You go somewhere, they're like, dude, where are you, where are you wearing my grandpa, my grandpa's memorial shirt? You know, <laughs> that's my grandpa that died, dude. <laughs> Gordon B. Hinckley, dude. I was like, what do you mean? Isn't it Bernie? He's like, no, it's Gordon B. Hinckley, dude. Oh, well, and then it was like the funeral shirt. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So then you, it would always be like really, uh, really risky. I feel like to, uh, to go to uh, the DI and get close, because then it was like a lot of your buddies close. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, have you ever found anything cool at a thrift store? Um, I actually found this Calvin Klein jacket. It looked like the one that Aaliyah used to wear in her music videos. It was pretty dope. I liked it. It could have been hers. It could have been hers. See, another that person. I should That's probably what I'm check the pockets. You said what? I should probably check the pockets. Dude, a lot of people say like they'll even just go to like the DI and uh, thrift stores, whatever, Goodwill. Uh -huh. And they'll just go through pockets or Ooh. go through like books. Or, you know, they'll some someone will donate like luggage and things like that. And they'll find like hidden money, uh, pictures, like somebody, love, somebody wrote a love note. You know what I mean? <gasps> now I definitely need to go back to the DI. Dude, w did you ever get like a really good love note or what? Not from the DI, no. No, just from somebody in general. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't you miss love notes or are they still a thing? Do you still get love notes? Or not um, really? Sometimes. Yeah? Yeah, like at work, I'll open up my locker and randomly they'll be... Oh, you uh, guys got lockers? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's freaking... That's a sign of romance right there. The locker, the right? original. Oh, yeah. If if my job had a locker, oh, dude, I'd be... You'd be getting love notes left oh, and right. I'd be throwing love notes everywhere <laughs> too, you know? Because I remember that. That was like one of the... That was like one of the funnest experiences. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, oh you think somebody's hot. You know right. what I mean? Oh, hey. Put it in a love note in the locker. It, I you think put you're it in a freaking there. awesome heart yeah. your secret admirer. Yeah, I know it's always something so dumb, you know? Right. It's like, oh, I get really nervous and you make me fart and it smells like <laughs> cheese. You know? You're like, what? What? But you would put it in there. You know what I mean? It's like, how did that even make sense? You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, it's like all... All their friends look at you funny, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, there goes host beefy, you know, Mr. Cheesy farts, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, but, oh, that's, uh, oh. so what was, like, a, a love note that you could remember pretty good that you got? Um. Like, oh, man. Well, like, what did it say? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, I think there was one in high school that said... Something about how I, I guess I was an I was annoying on the bus, in the mornings to go to school. Yeah. And she was at first really mad or irritated with me because I kept talking in the morning, and she's like, "Why are you talking so early in the morning? Like it's freaking early. No one wants to be up this early." And she was like, "I always found you annoying, and I didn't know why you were always talking, but after listening to what you were saying on the bus." I I just couldn't stop listening to you, or something like that. And I was like, okay, that's like cool. I've fallen in love with your voice, yeah. kind of deal. 
Oh, that's pretty romantic right? right there, dude. Holy moly. And then, like, the next week, she gave me a bag of Cheetos, a hot Cheetos. Ooh. Ooh. You know, that's Damn. romance right there. And did you did you write back or no? No, I ate the Cheetos. Oh, really? But you didn't say anything? You were still too shy or what? Uh, Yes, I was, actually. I was really shy. Dang, that sucks, huh? Yeah. Well, whoever you are back then and day, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? We didn't know any better. You we know what I mean? We didn't know, but, you know, here we are. God, because I, I remember one, this girl one time told me something like, she drew me a picture of like a plane and the dog, you know what I mean? Oh. And then she was like, uh, I think it might have been Snoopy or something. He was like driving a plane. And she's like, hey, Jose, are you still uh, driving solo? Oh. You, know, you got a, uh, you got a, uh, what is it? You got a, you got room for like another in your cockpit or something like that. Oh, she's like, throwing. You know, Dang. going for the three pointer. You know what I mean? I was like, holy she moly! She wanted more. What do you mean the cockpit, right? dude? I don't even know. I haven't even taken mechanics class, dude. I'm only ten. You know what I mean? But yeah, I got really excited. You know what I mean? And uh, so what? But I I always liked writing the uh, the letters a lot too you know what i mean oh i did too because you could just like if you were bored in class you know what i mean right you were just bored you just put out your know, psst or like hey you know what's up and then you throw it you know Do or a you little want, football you... thing and just flick it oh yeah dude yeah. I'd, I'd have to the i'd have to uh buy an extra long pencil <laughs> like a 24 inch pencil so i could go sharpen it like you know eight thousand times and keep going with the notes and then by the time i was on i you know i had a tiny pencil it wasn't even the end of the class yet. Yeah, you know? <laughs> the bell hadn't even rang to start, you know what I mean? The kids were still sitting down. They're like, dude, you're a fast writer, dude. Right? Shout out to Mavis Beacon. Hey. Well. Yeah, love letters, a lost art. I think uh, maybe hopefully kids still do those, you know? But maybe now they can do texting or social media. Yeah, I'm you know sure they mean? do it on, like, Instagram, Snapchat. Or, or they can, like, play video games, you know? And they're like, uh, they talk there, you know? Oh, it's right. like, talk like a boy when my mom walks in, you know? <laughs> You know what I mean? Or do they have like uh, code words or whatever? You know what I mean? I actually used to do that when I was younger. But now while I was playing games, like if I was on the phone, I'd be like, okay, just say you're my friend. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, did you ever get caught? Like, because it was a landline or no? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Oh. Yes, all the time. <laughs> oh, so what would happen? My mom would pick up the phone. She'd be like, who is there? I was like, mom, I'm talking to my friend. And she's like, who's your friend? And then my friend or my friend would be like uh hi this is you know yeah. so and so like in a deep voice so she wouldn't like get suspect suspicious yeah suspicious, suspicious. there we go Woo. yeah just so to make sure it was like another kid right yeah he's like who are you talking to hey it's me what's up what's going on <laughs> like, uh, yeah definitely you know right catch a predator and then i actually had to wait like 10 minutes until she actually hung up the phone so we'd be in silence and so also for click. you to hear the click yeah but sometimes they could be sneaky and they would just cl hold the phone and then click the hang up button. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then undo it. So then technically they were still listening the whole <gasps> I time. I hope she didn't listen to anything I said. You know what I mean? Dang. Maybe I should ask her when I get home. Like, hey, mom, did you ever hear me uh, wilding out? You know? Right. Out here like Nick with the cannon. You know <sighs> what I mean? Out here having seven baby mamas and yeah. shit. And dude, the one thing I used to do always, because back then it's like the uh, radio was not that popular in Utah. And uh, also you couldn't stream music. So one thing I would do, you had your crush, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I'd tell my crush, because I always like music. And uh, I'd, you know, I'd go watch 106 in Park, BET. Uh, and then the videos would come on. And then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to call you when 21 Questions comes on, okay? <laughs> And then I would do the 50 cent girl, the saint, <laughs> you know? And I was like, oh, I was wearing my do-rag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole time. But Bill up tomorrow, would you still love me? You know? And yeah. I'm sitting there like 11 years old, you know what I mean? Oh, but gosh. I would do that and I would, I, would, I would sing the song to my crush while the video was playing because it was like, like in cue. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because she's watching it. I'm watching it. And then we're sitting there, like, uh, singing her the song, you know? Oh, being all cute and Singing the 21 questions, uh, you know what I mean? Did oh. she love cake, Damn, like dude. a fat kid? Oh, yeah, they're like a, like eating cake, you know? It's right? Like, oh, my goodness. 
But yeah, how romantic was that? You know what I mean? I used to do that. Do you? I don't know if they still have it, but do you remember then when U92 used to do slow jams on Sunday? Yeah. I used to uh, call in and be like, oh, can I dedicate so and so song to. Oh, so you would do that? Yes. Hey, I'd like to dedicate this song <laughs> yes. to. Oh, dang. And guys. then they'd be listening, they'd call me later. I'm like, oh my God, that song was so cute. I was like, yeah, that's right. But you wouldn't be like, hey, uh, they're putting our song on right now. No. No. Oh, no. They, they would just hear you dedicate it. Yeah. Man, dude. Um, but now you dedicate something to like, oh, look at this emotional, you know what I mean? Yeah. Look at this emotional sweater. He's already in love with me. <laughs> he was like, dude, I can't even sing you a song. <laughs> That's like the only thing I would do like back in the day. Actually, I, I want to bring that back now. Yeah, I would just sing songs to girls all the time. Oh. Because I, I suck at, uh, I, I almost suck kind of at flirting because I say too many funny things. Okay. Or then I say too many like, uh, what's the word for it where I, I feel like I'm being too, like a um, poker face. What's the word? Um, sarcastic. Know. Sarcastic. You know what I mean? Okay. But I like stay really, I don't know. I, I look like I'm being serious, but I'm not. You know what I mean? Okay. And then it like throws them off or I'm just too corny, you know? But if I was singing back then when you could sing love songs. Okay. So if we were back then and you're trying to like seduce me, what kind of love song would you pick? Well, like 21 questions. What other songs? Uh. Oh, there's just so my song that I would like is called Rock Him Show Me Love. Okay. So let's see. Uh, now that see he has bars, but he's like, uh, I'm in effect mode. I keep the app slowed. When you express your finesse to your dress code, every step supposed. You've been blessing this show. It's my interact what grows. Oh, damn, what up? My interact grows. It's like this chick's characteristics, mystic, hips are thick, just a little bit of lipstick, can't resist the description, Egyptian smile, queen of the now, that means she dipped in style, she re, mommy me an Nefertiti, yes indeedy, but it's hard to get it like hieroglyphic graffiti, studied her exhibits and checked her colorful words, intellect with curves, I could erect my nerves, that's my word, digging her enigma that exists in the sister, carefully wrapped in her figure, we connect like a collision and hug, just acknowledge your wisdom, stu uh, study my metabolism, show me love. Like that. Ooh. And that's Barsh right there, you know? Rock that's him, it. you know? That's Ooh. it. I'm in love But now. just like that, you know what just I mean? Just like that, I'm in but love Right, do now. it slow, but if the song's playing, oh, I could even sing it better. Ooh. You know what I mean? Because you, I don't get nervous, you know? Yeah, Rock him's yeah. already playing. Oh, I, I hit every single lyric. Dang. It's like, uh, shorty sees the... Ah, oh, that song's what's like... Uh, See, now you got me in the mode. I'm going to start singing that song, see? But yeah, so you sing a love song. What's another one that's like uh, another love song? What's another love song? For? Well, we were singing Amen a little bit, you know? Oh, yeah, for, right? For all the girls that would break our hearts. All the girls that would break our hearts. Oh, you know, so you were horrible. singing Amen, and then uh, uh, what's another? another? Mm, I used to sing, uh, what's the Alicia Keys song? Uh, Someone like you, I think that's called, or somebody. Well, you're the one that would sing it. Don't ask me. Freak and A. I don't even remember what the song's name is right now. What other songs? I feel like Nate Dog had also a lot of uh, other love songs too. It's a. And I'm trying to. Area code. Oh no, not those. I I don't I don't think I would do like do you. I, I like that one. You know, oh, that was a good one. Uh, I liked a lot of R. Kelly songs back then, but now right? we can't sing them because we're perverts. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I always loved, like, that was my thing, you know? Oh, I always liked singing this song that was, like, because I, I couldn't sing it, but it was, have you heard Outcast? Well, it's Andre uh, Prototype. It's like a guitar. No, I don't think I've and heard he's that like, one. I hope that you're the one. But he sings all weird, you know? He's like, if not, you are the prototype. We'll tiptoe to the sun and do things I know you like. I think I'm in love Ooh. again. <laughs> -na -na. Yeah, so I would sing that song a lot, you know. But Dang, yeah, you, know? you must and have now, been a real ladies man back then. Back then, you know. <laughs> now, now I'm a hopeful romantic. Romance is making a comeback. Patent hey, pending. Patent pending. We're gonna be making a romantic dating app for you guys. Uh but yeah, that's. I think that was it for the holidays, right? Yes, that was it. Dang, that's a lot of romance. Like getting me freaking <laughs> feeling like hawk, like locker right now in heat. You know, you right? all the Putting little, it to an animal. All the little freaking senoritas. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's actually what happened to Hoss. Like he couldn't make it because uh, he hit me up. He's like, "Hey, uh, Sling and Glocko, they followed me all the way home." 
they got mad that we won the rap battle <laughs> they and sling slipped my tires you know what i mean right i was like what do you mean dude he's like yeah did he follow me home and he got his little machete you know what i mean whatever they call it in mexico and he freaking <laughs> he's like all my wheels dude all his wheels so are gone. sling come on dude first you catfish glocko dude right and then he goes out and gets vengeance because they lost a rap battle you know what i mean or maybe he's just mad because host caught on to the catfish and sling wanted to go out with him oh yeah <laughs> sling but shout out to those guys that was right? really fun uh fun episode and thank you all all of you guys that watched uh i thought it was pretty fun uh alice she did a good job she's doing a good job thank today you. thank you you know she's debuting as the co-captain or well right now she's the captain, captain you know I'm what i mean she's that star trek on that mothership right now yeah this is my ship now clicking buttons and uh you know talking a little bit of trash but what was your weekend like did you do anything or uh i know you said you don't sleep so i don't sleep at all did you just like simmer your thoughts or what have you been feeling like what's been going on with you uh so this weekend i actually worked a little bit um then i got to hang out with one of my cool friends shout out to my friend jessica and then um no that was it just yeah. reminiscing on life now that i'm thinking about how i was riding kites back in the day putting them in lockers i kind of want to do it now you want to do what i want to send love letters now we do huh maybe yeah. that, sh we, that should be a challenge this should be a challenge oh send a couple love letters right Cause, dude because now you know sometimes I, I try to send like a love text dude that doesn't work you know what i mean i'll try to say something cute and i'll try to say uh let's see okay so i'm typing uh i'm typing something say something like oh you're a girl alice and you're we're talking right now and you, um I, I feel like you have a great personality you're so awesome oh no we're just like saying hey and I, oh. i'm just gonna hit you with some bars okay hey how are you doing host beefy oh just shitting me uh chilling shitting <laughs> <laughs> If you're sitting here, you know, just uh, contemplating life, you beautiful angel. What about you? Oh, how sweet of you. I'm doing the same thing. Oh, really? Just contemplating life? Are you sad or what's going on? No, I'm just thinking about you, how uh, you bring smiles to my face. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what kind of smiles am I bringing? Is it, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, it's a good thing. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm real cheesy. My cheeks hurt. Oh, well, <laughs> those are the only cheeks that are going to be hurting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you set yourself up for that one, okay? <laughs> oh, you're so right. You're so right, dude. That was <laughs> You're going to learn today, okay? But... Oh, okay, so then maybe I say, oh, you know what? Well, uh... <laughs> maybe I throw some bars. What I'm going to say, oh, you know uh... what? If uh, you're like... Can't get over them cheeks, huh? <laughs> I was gonna try to say something about cars, like you know, you're the you're the hot to my wheels. But <laughs> was, if it was a chick on chick instead of hot wheels, you're like you're the match to my box. Oh, <laughs> oh technically, a guy can do that too, huh? A girl has to say it to no, the guy. Yeah. You're the match to my box, you know? Oh, we can get that fire, huh? Oh yeah, that gasoline you know, in I'm there, baby. Keep some of these for next time. <laughs> you're the match to my box you gotta use yes. that one. see that one right there bars you know that is actually but i say something that's like the complete opposite of that you know <laughs> it's like oh you know i looked outside and <laughs> the gravitational <laughs> pull of the moon was you know in effect in mercury oh. and the gravity was pulling the tides of my heart like the current to your ocean <laughs> like what the fuck what are you casting a spell you know what i mean are you fucking a witch right now yeah, they're like what's going on with you dude are you on crack you know what i mean you went to that trump rally you know right? you're doing meth you know oh so you got 10 feet higher on me uh, yeah so so i'll say something like that you know it's like oh you know i i looked into the stars and i saw a comet you know and i thought oh maybe uh, maybe i'll uh you know maybe i'll, I'll Maybe I'll commit suicide like that. Oh guy, my so. gosh. <laughs> so I can haunt you in your dreams. I don't know. Wow. That went a little too far, but I like it. You know? I like how you but something something dark happens like that, you know? Yeah. Or just something that doesn't make sense when I try to send a love text and then guess then it just <laughs> I have to try again, you know? I have to wait a couple of days. You gotta wait for the other budget. Like, hey, you didn't like the match in the box joke, <laughs> you know what I mean? You thought, you know, was um, that too perverted, you know what I mean? So oh then I have to have to try to shoot another shot so 
We're going to try to bring back uh, love letters. Yes. And we said it here before. It's like now I can't even do a love letter because you can't a you can't ask for somebody's address. Maybe you have to pretend you're getting married. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, can I have your address? It's like for what? It's like, oh, I'm getting married and, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm going to send you an invitation even though I don't really know you. <laughs> you know I want I mean? you to come to my wedding. <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell? Sure. You know what I mean? Can you be my best man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna send you a package you know what i mean like what is up with this person you know what i mean yeah so now you can't do that uh what else is like uh cancel that we can't do with love um, um huh i don't know so we can't do letters we can't do uh god i feel like what else i mean we can't do like i i feel like we can't do romantic things too much you know what i mean yeah i feel like you can't really dedicate a song to someone because then they'll be like oh so you think i d need you to take care of me you think i need to depend on you is that what it yeah is? you know what i mean yeah like i send somebody mariah carey touch my body you know what uh, i mean see and then they take it wrong yeah it's like what do you mean you're gonna tussle me around huh right toxic masculinity or like the yeah. uh why are you so obsessed with me kind of thing yeah <laughs> now you're a stalker i sent her that one she sends me the obsessed you know what i mean <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> you know, so she said, so you can't even do that. You know what I mean? No. We can't do romantic things. Um, so now what do I... Because here's the thing that's been bugging me, Alice. I'll tell you something right okay, now. Okay, I'm ready for this. I'm going to be very, uh, what is it, very open. If I am like a... What is it, like a, like a piece of shit, kind of, you know what I mean? Where, like, just, uh, I guess, like playing someone or just kind of being like a fuck boy is that, is that the name of it or what is it yes. like when you just are you know just like trying to tell somebody like the things they want to hear yeah and, it's like a fuck and boy. just like i wouldn't say like it's taking advantage but then that even sounds wrong you know what i mean it's like i don't want to say right that, now dude. we're gonna get canceled over but here. uh but you know what i mean yeah Where you're just kind of like playing someone like that is so easy for me you know what i mean to be like if i'm being like fake or just like doing that but then it's like when i try to be like normal or like uh more genuine uh -huh. I, I just think i'm too cheesy you know what i mean i just like like me i'm super corny like there's no in between either i'm going to be like like a player you know what i mean or i'm going to be like just really corny okay and i don't i don't know how to be i don't know how to be corny like how to not be corny does that make sense you don't know how to be corny without being the player. How to not be corny. Because okay. I can be too corny, I feel like, you know? Hmm. Well, I feel like some people like the corniness. Oh, well, some, you know? <laughs> Very few, I'll tell you that, you know? So, I don't know. So And then I don't think, uh, like, my corny stuff, like, it's hard. Like, right now, you, if we're talking, you can kind of identify, like, what I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if we're having, like, just think about the conversations we've had so far today. We've talked about uh, cheese inside of your belly button. Right. Right. We talked about sucking toes. Right. But if we had that conversation via text, like, well, that's pretty weird. I actually have those type of conversations yeah? via text. Yeah. Damn, bro. I don't know how many know. toes you'd be sucking then. No, I haven't you know? sucked any toes recently. No. no. Oh, good ladies, you heard her here. Right. Okay. If you're trying to get your freaking. You know, uh, if you toast, want your toes sucked, rassled and dazzled. You know what I mean? One. <laughs> Let her know. But uh, okay, so before we get off track, uh, now that we've talked about, you know, our feelings, or do you have anything else to vent about? You know, any any other things that we've uh, maybe missed? Now that we're talking about romance and uh, things like that. Um. So you miss dedicating songs, right? I miss love dedicating notes, suck notes, sucking toes, sucking toes. Oh, that's the big one. Talking I to each other on the phone. Actually, I do that sometimes. Like the phone thing? Yeah, like staying up all night talking oh. on the phone. Dude, I haven't done that. I don't do that anymore. I think it's actually easier now because, I um, mean, if the person owns an iPhone and you own an iPhone, you can FaceTime, FaceTime? and watch yeah. everything. I remember when I used to do it in high school and I was talking to my boob then and we just stay on the phone all night. And then you fall asleep and holding fall asleep, them in your little yeah, arm, you know? Yeah, and then you just be there, and then you wake up for school, and you can hear him, like, slowly waking up. And I was like, all right, boo, you have a good day at school. I'll talk oh, to you yeah. later. Dude, you, even, you even put a little pillow under your phone because you think it's them, Yeah. You, know? you got a little blanket, you put, you know? Yeah, you just like, make sure oh, they're all cozy and everything. Yeah, like, oh, look at my little freaking 
little uh, little tamale right there you know yes. it's your phone you got it to the charger yeah your, yeah. your parents electric bill is through the roof right and then their phone bill is like phone, why yeah. is this oh, so yeah. especially back <laughs> then when it wasn't unlimited you right know what I mean? yeah so it was like uh oh yeah oh yeah so that's a good one like falling dude i i haven't done that where you just like talk forever i don't know when was the last time maybe last year i talked like for a long time like that on the phone but it's like now i almost feel weird like hey can i call you on the phone yeah i feel like a lot of people don't like talking on the phone you know now. what i mean now with texting and everything yeah it's like now you can text but before it's like you just give me let me shoot my shot let me just talk to you for a little bit and then you're gonna laugh you know what i mean but then in texting you know i'm a psychopath i don't know what's going on you know <laughs> a psychopath i gotta on sharpen texting? up my skills but so we're gonna bring love back uh 20 2021 20 well 2022 2022 love's you know coming I mean? back but the thing that is coming back is the uh, mysteries of the internet mysteries of the internet and we'll see what we have what uh alice uh brewed up uh the mystery is what is one thing you've done in the past year that you're proud of well definitely not any love letters no, that i've written you know no love letters all of them have been uh hate letters basically you know what i mean <laughs> uh so let's see something that i've been pro okay you know what one thing i'll give you a shout out for alice okay is uh so me and host we have to end pounds for hounds okay pounds for hounds. Here we this go. month the end of this month we've been doing bad and the host beefy okay i've been i've been getting a little bit of muscle yeah i can see them gain okay but i i haven't been dropping pounds but i've been feeling pretty decent but alice said that she has had also been doing pounds for hounds this whole time you know i have actually and how many uh pounds have you hounded i've hounded 20 pounds 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Woo. i think that's one thing to be very proud of and that is why it was she was just meant to be the intern you know what i mean I, it was it was really destiny the spirit whispered in my ear you know i didn't even know she was doing pounds for hounds so i think that's probably one that's that i would say alice that you should be pretty proud of because that's like uh it's like you know it's it's it sounds so easy to do you know what i mean it's like oh you know i'm gonna go to the gym and lose weight i'm gonna eat good but it's like not easy to do you know what i mean yeah so everything's like plus now that especially if you're like i mean I don't, i'm not sure what your schedule like but are you going like most of the time are you going just by, on your own yes so yeah you just go alone work out do all of that mm -hmm. i can't work out with other people oh really not yeah. even your friends no oh wow so yeah see so sometimes i think like for me that helps me the most you know uh like if i have a person that i go with okay uh because then we can hold each other accountable but now i've been going on my own just because i i was like okay i'm gonna get i'm also i'm also really what is it where i like saving money and stuff like that you know what i mean frugal frugal you know what i mean and that used to be like you like to keep your fruits <laughs> you know but now i got a, a membership over to the uh rec center and it's so close to my house and then i pay for it. it's like well i don't want to give myself like an excuse that i'm not using it you know right so i think that's maybe one thing again that uh i mean i think because i've tried throughout this year to kind of get back into being active you know what i mean and i think that was probably the hardest for me was um uh, getting back to being active because i was doing really good last year and then uh i did really good through COVID. i was actually a beauty like i was like Ooh. oh like through COVID, i was doing really good you know what i mean like last year like i wasn't eating that much i thought the world was gonna go extinct so i'm like <laughs> eating like portions of beef jerky you Maybe know what so i mean you lasted longer than everyone yep so i was like oh i got stuck you know and then once they're like all right we're gonna open up host beast you know what i mean <sighs> so that's what i kind of had issues with is like maybe like the first five months of this year was like i just went crazy a little bit you know yeah and then i didn't go too crazy because every time i hit like 210 pounds i'm like all right dude you gotta chill so I, i've been able to say like 200 pounds but i'm gonna be turning 30 this year and i want to be like okay i want to be now they say oh if people start you know you can't move you know what i mean you wake up and you your adam's apple falls you know what i mean <laughs> so i uh i kind of want to be in the groove kind of like where i can be working out or maybe a little bit more healthy you know so i think that's one for you well i mean and sorry i was saying me answering just for you i think that's like 
one that I think when I when I heard you say it last week <clears throat> or two weeks ago, yeah, I thought that was like really cool that uh that you did it. So, but what are what are other things like for you that you would say that you're proud of that you've done? Uh, this past year. Uh huh. Uh, let's see what I did do this past year. I feel like I finally got some of my some of my insecurities handled. Um, obviously, coming on this podcast has definitely helped me kind of deal with my insecurities. Uh, for one, hearing my own voice, I feel like my own voice is horrible. But the fact that I've actually stuck on and dealt with hearing my voice is one of the proud moments. What were some of your other like insecurities? If you want to elaborate, if you don't, oh, okay. you don't have to. But um, one of my other insecurities is, uh, for sure, the weight thing. Um, I don't. When I initially started doing the hounds for pounds, I don't think I was totally overweight. Like I felt like I was in a good, yeah, uh, setting. But I personally did not see that, and so I wanted to make myself feel a little bit better so when you guys initiated the hounds for pounds i was like you know what i'm gonna do it too if they're gonna do it i'm gonna do it and i actually did it i did a program for the six weeks i lost uh like five percent of body fat oh, and wow. um I so gained... what program did you do you like enrolled in a program and everything yeah so there's like this gym that i go or this gym that was promoting a program for six weeks and if you complete if you bit beat the goal of either losing five pounds or five percent of body fat or 20 pounds they would reimburse your money so that obviously was my motivation i wanted my money back oh and wow so, that's cool yeah and so i ended up going i did awesome for like three weeks then i kind of messed up a little bit because i went on vacation and then i came back and i killed it and yeah and then it made me feel like awesome 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 like none of my clothes really fit anymore because of it yeah so, and then did that help you like after like now kind of build a routine to uh, where it's been easier for you to go, I guess, to the gym and stuff like that or? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's still some times where I'm like, nah, I don't want to go because either I'm too lazy or just don't want to get out of my house. But for the majority of it, I do go to the gym a lot. Like I, that that's like my second home. Okay. And then one thing earlier we were talking about before we went live. All of a sudden, you tell me you know how to box. What's up I, with that? Okay, I wouldn't say I'm like a professional boxer or anything, but I also joined a boxing class, which... So you go to a boxing class, I too. do go to a boxing oh class. Oh, my goodness. Yes. What days do you go to a boxing class? Um, Mondays and Tuesdays. Mondays and Tuesdays. And then, like, how... Like, do you get, like, super sweaty? Is it, like, really hard at first, or...? At first, like, you're starting out uh, warming up your body, and then like the first two rounds they want you to warm up your body and the rest of them they just want you to go hard and so i usually try to go as hard as i can like give all my strength all my power into it and by the end of it i'm drenched like i can't even walk to my car oh really yeah so like your whole body what is it like a core workout or yeah it's like obviously your arms your back they do a core session for like, like planks and stuff like yes. that yes and push-ups and sit-ups and so how many push-ups can you do uh girls i could do girl push-ups like 50. yeah yeah so let's say if i go there what would i have to do will, will they let me will they show me how to punch because look right now you know I, I i think i'm gonna punch it looks like i'm throwing somebody the car keys you know what i mean <laughs> They're like what's going on dude you know what i mean yes they will show you how to punch so yeah there you go see you're a fucking pro already oh yeah i can yeah. punch you good yeah so you don't then, even need to go to the glass. And you can feel like, uh, do they tell you, oh, you punched pretty hard? Or no, do you have one of those punching machines or not? No, but you you personally could tell when you hit the bag. So if I went, what what would they tell me? Like, if I go with, could I go with you one yeah, day? Or what do they say? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So the more the merrier. So what? So okay. So I go and then, so you got to prepare me. Like, what kind of stuff do I have to take? You know what I mean? Just take some shorts. Uh, but you work. have like the Everlast shorts probably now. How you got those no. fake ones or no? No, I just wear Nike shorts, yeah. whatever. And then um, they give you wraps for your hands. So you don't mess up your knuckles. Oh, they teach you how to wrap your hands yes. too? Yes. Oh, I always wanted to do that, dude. Yes. That's cool. So you know how to wrap your hands? Yes. Oh, dude, you got to keep so cool. these hands precious. You what know? about feet? You know how to wrap feet? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. That's a different kind of wrap though. Ooh. Yeah. but yeah so you wrap your hands yeah so you wrap your hands and then we'll do like a quick warm-up 
and then they'll tell you to put your gloves on so you put your you'll keep the wraps on when you put the gloves on it keeps like your gloves uh secured in a way so they're not like loose and they fly off and you have to have gloves on. oh i have gloves i forgot yes i got really heavy gloves and they're okay. like really heavy well well you know how you do it for a while and yeah it's like no it the rounds each round is three minutes you think that's not enough but once you start the three minutes and keep going for eight rounds you'll get tired so and you know how to do that thing where they get the things like this i don't know what that is you know they get the little things that you have to punch the little things they hold oh, like targets sure. or the little mitts thing. yeah yeah and then they you duck you know how to do all of that uh not quite but so, i'm getting there oh but you'll eventually know how to do all yeah. of that where you go Shh. yeah and then they you duck and you know what's going on yeah and so what happens when they do that do you talk to them and say they're like one or Hush. yeah they'll they'll throw the before they start they'll give you like a number and they'll tell you what that number means and so when you're when they go through the whole punching thing they'll be like one which is like a punch two is one two punch so you'll do the right arm left arm and then one two three is like right arm left arm punch and then like a right uppercut oh so you're even throwing uppercuts yeah. now yeah damn gina right Ooh. watch out y'all so you you're you're going to be able to do that thing like you said like pretty fast yeah okay why don't you show the camera you do a little quick uh, uh i don't think i'm piece, that fast right now four piece combo with uh <laughs> with fries four piece combo with fries all right let me move this thing real quick pop 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 Ooh. yeah like that and then you'll duck and you'll duck boom now did you ever miss and you hit the instructor or anything like that no 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 thankfully has it not happened yet. yeah i've seen it happen once and the oh. instructor kind of like gets pushed back so and then, and then i laugh <laughs> oh really so do they ever get mad or anything people never want to tussle or anything like that not that i've seen yet oh uh, and then what's your class pretty cool and everybody's like pretty friendly yeah everyone's all nice everyone's saying hi how you doing uh, they're gonna be like day? oh what's this guy doing here this yeah weekend? no with this american really nice. shirt i probably shouldn't wear this shirt they'll tell you that. they actually would love you if you wear that shirt if i wear this shirt yes <laughs> where are you taking me we're not, they would love you they would make you Colville, the you? owner of the boxing place with this shirt yes especially with that shirt so it's like a boy like this that owns that it's like the the manager or whatever or yeah what? And he would he would basically take you under his wing. Well, <laughs> he's an eagle. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? He's an eagle. Like he's a little chick. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for that, but okay. So you did uh, boxing. You've been healthy. Uh, what other? Do you feel like you've had any other accomplishments? Like what about with any? Uh, what is like any growth and development area? So now you like your voice. You know, you've been yes. on the podcast. Uh, what's another thing that maybe? Because one thing, so here's one thing that I noticed for me for COVID is that I didn't know how much I, I like hanging out by myself a lot. You know what I mean? Okay. I think of a lot, a lot of weird things, ideas. So in my head, there's like a lot, a lot of stuff going on, but I never realized how much I needed like small people interactions. Like, like just even people? in the in the in like out in the world oh, okay. not not dwarfs okay <laughs> shout out to the dwarf community little people big world shout out to the ro roll-offs okay they own a pumpkin farm by the way and uh so like i didn't know that i that i needed those little interactions that they were actually like something that i that i enjoy do you know what i mean yeah because like i i like at the store i like pranking people talking to people or just you know uh at work you know i i talk a little bit to my co-workers prank them so i did a lot of those things but i didn't notice like um uh, how much like at home like once i was like only working from home and i know you guys i guess stayed at your workplace like i didn't even know like that i needed that much in my life of like interaction you know what i mean like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i was like oh i'm more of like an introvert or blah 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 but uh, but actually i wasn't you know what i mean i was more like I did need to get my ideas out to people that were just like pranks or, or whatever. And then I have my own ideas here where I can just simmer on my own. So did you find out maybe anything about, you know, I guess there wasn't like clubs or bars or anything like that were that open. So did you find anything about yourself? Like maybe that you didn't know, you know, about you while you had a quarantine or anything like that? Um, I don't think so. No, like you didn't uh, like what are things you could find out like oh maybe that you're uh 
I don't know that you're what like uh, strong minded or anything like that. You didn't think of uh no. Well, like you said during the whole quarantine thing, we still went into work. So for me, even with the whole quarantine thing, everything was just kind of normal, or I seen it as normal, because on my days off, I usually don't hang out or oh. don't go out and anything. So it just was the same. So it was, but either so you didn't even get weird like going out to a restaurant or you don't really go to restaurants and stuff. No, I usually don't go to restaurants. Oh, really? See, because yeah. that was like my main thing was like when I couldn't go to restaurants, then uh, that was weird because I was like my other thing that I do to kill time is like the restaurants that I go to. I already kind of know the people there, so then I can just sit there and eat food. And then it was weird going to the restaurant and it's only takeout. You know what I mean? So. Maybe I think one thing I would say for me, I would probably say that uh, I think I got better at maybe talking about my feelings a little bit more. You know what I mean? Okay. When, when I'm like upset, you know, because sometimes like if people were making me mad or I was having a bad day, like I wouldn't tell anyone. And then if somebody just catches me on the wrong day, then I destroy them. You know what I mean? Okay. And then I just like explode. And they're like, dude, look at this freaking weeping willow. You know, tears <laughs> in the belly button again. You know what I mean? Falling on the backside too. Yep. But now it's just like, well, I know it. It's like, well, I think that's one thing. It's like, well, now I have to, you know, maybe vent a little bit more often. You know what I mean? Or if I'm having a bad day, like I have to deal with it somehow opposed to just like bottling it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I learned that. Uh, obviously, I guess one other accomplishment I mean, the podcast has been pretty cool. You know what I mean? Uh, this room is pretty cool now, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like you improved uh, on it a lot. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know. I still want to make a couple more changes and stuff, but I think that. And then, uh, I don't know. I think it's been nice to, because I have like a lot of good, fun ideas, I feel like. But then... I guess maybe one thing that's kind of helped is just like sharing it, you know, because I hang out with all of you guys now and stuff like that. And I get to kind of share some of those ideas and everybody can have fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think maybe that's one nice thing is that like before I had all these ideas, but on how to have fun and like laugh, but I wasn't really sharing them with anybody. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So like in my mind, there were or I would prank random strangers but now I, I feel like it's been now you prank us yeah you know what i mean it's just been cool and then the people that listen everybody's cool and that, it's been cool because i don't even know i know some of the people that listen you know and it's been cool with our fans and stuff like that i mean obviously we're not like joe rogan or something but <laughs> i just think it's cool that you however you guys know like when to watch on youtube and stuff like you guys have been uh you know uh you guys like always know when something's gonna happen for some reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like your first episode, like a lot of people switched to YouTube, and you know a lot of people normally uh, were audio. The last episode with Glocko, like basically Everyone every person that I it. that I know watched it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like not a lot of people, and uh, well, and I didn't want people to listen to that one. I also you know put out that episode a little bit later because I thought it was really fun. So. Hopefully you guys join us into more video. You know what I mean? So that we're going to have more challenges today. We were just a couple of love birds. You know what I mean? Yes. Talking we're about to bring toes, love back. eagles, but, uh, I think, oh, and I think also like seeing my family, I think that's probably another thing that I'm a little bit more proud of because before, like, I mean, I would just make time, but only for like the, uh, like the mandatory things, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, you got to go for a birthday or, or you got to go for this. And yeah, now I've, you know, it's like more, I've been kind of spending more family time. So probably that. And then, uh, I don't know. I think that's it for that. But uh, wholesome advice. You want to give any wholesome, wholesome advice? advice. Are we looking on time? I mean, uh, keep rolling or I'm not sure. We're good. We're good. We're, we're good. good. Yeah. Uh, wholesome advice. I feel like, let's see. How has this week been? Um, don't, oh, let's see, um, when you can find something funny, even if you don't really kind of find it funny, but laugh, just laugh. Cause it brings, it livens up your soul in a way. And it makes you kind of realize not to take life so serious. 
I try to find like funny shows or memes or like me and Javi be sending funny memes to each other. And, oh, really? And it just cracks me up. And after I laugh, I'm like, okay. It's like you almost forget about yeah. whatever for that little amount of time. You yeah. Know? And I just feel like, oh, okay. Um, renewed in a way and whatever was bugging me or whatever was stressing me out that day kind of disappeared for that moment. And I was enjoying that laugh. Yeah, I, I kind of suck at the meme game. <laughs> Cause I mean I have Android, so I don't know if they, I don't know if they have memes on Android. I never really got into memes. You know I'm what sure I mean? I'm sure you can find some. So I never got into, uh, but yeah, I've seen some that are pretty funny. But that's a pretty good one, you know. Just uh, and I mean, and there's a lot of things that could make you laugh. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. MXC, if you guys remember that show, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge, uh, it's on YouTube for free. You guys can watch that. What are some of the things that you like to watch? So memes, what uh, other stuff do you like to watch f uh, for fun? Um uh just comedy shows uh i don't know if you guys have heard of jeff dunham he is a with the puppets yes yeah i like watching his videos but now they don't have jose what is it jose on a stick jalapeno. they don't have that guy anymore huh they don't yeah, they threw him over the border huh yeah because now I he's figured. racist or the other guy the dead terrorist i don't Oxman. think they have that guy anymore but i like the old man i like that guy he's funny he's funny peanut's my favorite Oh, yeah. The weird one. Is he yes. purple or something? What color yeah, is he? Yeah, he's like purple right. and brown or something. But yeah, so have fun. Do something uh, that makes you laugh. So for me, dude, I don't know, dude. So we, I mean, we talked about good advice today, you know, which was uh, romancing. Yes. You know, so maybe uh, romance. Because we said, oh, we're going to bring, we're going to uh, bring love back. You know what I mean? All love matters is what they say <laughs> these days, you know? So we're going to bring that. Uh, what, what would I say? Um, let's see. So I was thinking about, well, I was, I was just thinking like maybe don't hate people. You know what I mean? Because I obviously went to the Trump rally, which wasn't a Trump rally, by the way. <laughs> I was just joking around. But I just think it's funny how you could hate somebody that doesn't even affect you almost. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you could be there. You could both be at the same place uh but if you're like in a group like you automatically have to hate the other group does that make sense yeah it's just like we could be perfectly friend you know perfect great friends but now i'm going to show up with alice and you know she's oh she's going to take me boxing and now they're all going to hate me and alice because like dude you brought this guy that smells like freaking you know what <laughs> i mean like sausage yeah it's like sausage and beans you know what <laughs> i mean and you brought him over to the gym so now they hate us you know what I mean? And then we're going to get kicked out. Yep. And then all because we formed a new alliance. Yeah. You know, so maybe I would say that, like, don't hate people. And then probably one thing, because uh, you said kind of, you know, find something funny that, uh, find something funny that kind of, that you forget kind of what's going on, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But one weird thing that I was thinking of the other day, maybe it's kind of dark. It's just like, you know, we're cool with uh you know we basically always are it can be scary to think about dying you know what i mean yeah or like we don't think about it because it's like unknown you know what i mean like nobody that's dead except for jesus christ shout out to that guy hey. and the holy ghost amen and god and javi and javi <laughs> and uh i don't know who else and uh gandhi but um so we're so afraid of like dying because like obviously nobody can tell us what it's like or you know what I mean? Or they can't say like, oh, dude, I died and this happens or whatever. So you, sometimes I think about that. It's like, oh, I wonder what dying's like. And it's like kind of creepy, you know? Yeah. And then one thing that's like uh, that we know for sure is that every single night for unless you're Alice, <laughs> you're going to sleep. You know what I mean? Or even if it's for like a couple hours and like it's just like for that amount of time, it's like. We technically don't know if we're going to wake up. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we all need it. You know what I mean? Like, like whether it's a nap or whatever, you're like, oh, I'm going to, like, you eventually, like, fall asleep. But, like, that doesn't scare us. You know what I mean? So I was thinking about it, like, if we understood more of, like, sleep, if we kind of almost took that as, like, we die every single night. You know what I mean? And we wake up every single day. Then maybe you'd appreciate life a little bit more you know what i mean right it's like you know that you're gonna die every single night so it's like well 
I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to die for, I don't know, seven hours today, you know, <laughs> six hours. But then guess what? Guess what? I'm, I get to wake up and I get to start like my life all over again. You know, I get to start my day all over again. I get to live all over again. So I think maybe if you maybe put that perspective in your life or, you know, when you wake up, I think maybe that could be kind of helpful. You know what I mean? Of maybe not holding back of things that you want to do or being too serious or being too hard on yourself that you just like appreciate the beginning of your new day every single morning. Does that make sense? Right. Or am I not making sense? No, that makes sense. Like waking up with a smile kind of thing. Yeah. Cause it could be like a shitty day, but like you still like woke up, you know what I mean? Right. You're still here. You still get to see your favorite people. Yeah. Cause one thing now that we're getting like older, it's like, you know, I never thought throughout my life, like, you know, obviously there's like a couple of people that pass away, you know, like mm -hmm. when you go to elementary or junior high or high school. But it's like the more older you get, you know, you, it like happens more often. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I've seen a lot more of my friends that I grew up with and like some of them like passed away, you know, mm -hmm. like a lot more. And I'm like, oh, geez, like there were. I mean, I still feel pretty young, you know, but I'm going to be 30. You know what I mean? Which is still young, but then that that's kind of crazy to think about. It's just like, like all of that part of your childhood, which, you know, you remember so vid vividly, it's like already gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we can dwell on uh, something. Oh, I, I wrote you a text that wasn't that, you know, it wasn't that romantic. Now you're going to hate me. You know what I mean? So it's like you can get too caught up in weird aspects of life that you like hold yourself down or you uh feel bad about yourself or you know you're not happy where you're at and you don't get your goals accomplished and things like that and e even even if you don't get your goals accomplished like even if you try like I, look i'm not done with i'm i'm coming in strong the last couple of days for uh pounds for hounds okay so um uh, i i'm i've still the thing that i've been happy i guess the, the most happy about is just getting the routine of like going to the gym again you know that's been like my my happy place but yeah so i guess wholesome advice is just pretend you die every single day when you go to sleep and then you wake up it's a new day you got to start all over a new routine a new routine you know and uh, a new chance to be better be better and, dedicate uh, love songs dedicate love songs so yes. yeah be more loving be more what else alice uh write more letters write more letters be more warming be more uh i guess nice yeah and i think that's it for me how I, do you feel i feel like that's the same for me oh uh, and then uh any songs you want to dedicate anything else uh, um no not right now yeah you guys don't disturb this love okay <laughs> neither of our love okay? none if you none. want your toe sucked it's not happening yeah no we're gonna charge okay <laughs> subscribe to our only fans yes. and rice uh pad uh pod of.com but it's your boy host beefy and this is alice all right love you guys catch you later adios